Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how to verify if a given alphabet is an uppercase or a lowercase, but by using bitwise operations, right? Not using a traditional method of using is upper, is lower functions. Okay. Uh, but instead, we are trying to understand this by looking at the bit pattern and through bit manipulations right so before doing that first let us try to look into what is the binary form of various alphabets like for example let's consider the alphabet a alphabet a has an ascii value of 65 and the binary equivalent of this is mentioned here wherein this is 64 and this is 1 64 plus 1 is 65 now if you consider the lowercase a which has an ascii value of 97 if we can just observe this bit patterns of lowercase a and uppercase a, you can observe that all the bits are same except one bit. The one bit which is differing is the sixth bit out here. This bit is differing. Not only this, let us also take up some other alphabets. Like for example, I want to consider alphabet S, which has an ASCII value of 83, and then lowercase s, which has an ASCII value of 115. Now again, if you just observe, everything is same except this particular bit, right? And you can observe that all the uppercase alphabets, this particular bit is 0 and for the lowercase characters, this is 1, right? Let's take a one more character, let's say K and then lowercase K, same. So you can verify this for almost all the uppercase alphabets and the lowercase alphabets that the bit pattern, okay, if you observe, 7 bits are same except that 6th bit. So, by just verifying the 6th bit, you can say that it is an uppercase or a lowercase. In fact, if you want to change from lowercase to uppercase or uppercase to lowercase, you just need to modify that particular bit. Okay, by just changing that particular bit, we can even change from uppercase to lowercase or a lowercase to an uppercase. Right. So let's try to look at the program and try to understand. Okay, does it really work out, or how do we really verify this particular bit? Fine. Here is the program where I'm trying to read an alphabet. Right. After reading the alphabet, I need to verify the sixth bit. Remember, if you can just uh, observe what we saw in the slide, wherein for ASCII value for A was 65, it was like 0, 0100. 0, 0. 0001 and for the lowercase it was lowercase a 97 and then it is 0110 then okay all this now which bit you want to verify this bit now in order to verify this particular bit you need to consider a mask value wherein uh, the bit what you want to verify that should be 1 every other bit should be 0 now how do i okay generate this particular mask value you can generate this particular mask value by either using shift operators if you want to okay generate this mask value with the help of shift operators it is one right left shift by how many zeros to be added here one two three four five right so i can just write one left shift by five so i'll be able to generate this mask value once I generate the mask value, then I just need to perform the anding. So I'll just try to use a mask value, which is 1 left shift by 5. And after that, I'd like to take up the result. Okay. Now, result equal to whatever the alphabet you have entered, anding with the mask value. And if the result is 0, right? If the result is 0, it is an uppercase right uppercase okay now in case if the result is a non-zero value right okay when i say non-zero the actual output will be one left by five which is 32 right we lowercase now this is the task okay so this code is only for our understanding now let's quickly verify this and understand how does it function Compile the program. The program name is verify case. Compilation successful. Execute it. You need to enter an alphabet. You enter an uppercase A, right? Or might be 
lower case t or might be okay anything other than right so you able to but yes remember this particular program will only work if the input given is an alphabet like in case if you enter something like a non alphabet like for example a digit 9 now it is neither an upper case neither than lower case right and we are only verifying the 6 bit so this is not the correct way to do it right you are using this particular program to demonstrate that if the input is a valid alphabet and it's just like uppercase or lowercase if you want to verify you can use this particular operation if the input is a non-alphabet then this code will not function clear okay the next thing is if you want to change from uppercase to a lowercase or a lowercase to an uppercase you just need to change that sixth bit and in order to change the bit, if it is 0, you want to change it to 1. And if it is 1, you want to change it to 0. Only thing is you need to toggle the bit. What you should do? You need to toggle the bit. So toggling, we use XOR operation. And after that, okay, I don't want to print this uppercase or lowercase. Okay. Now, I'd like to print this. Okay. That is my result. And since I want to print the result as a character, I'll just use percentage C, right? And after that, put the result in. Clear? Now let's try to recompile the program and then verify. You enter any lowercase, you'll get the output as an uppercase, right? Or you enter any uppercase, you'll get the output as a lowercase, right? With these two small code snippets, we can understand that, okay, we can just verify the sixth bit and say it is uppercase or lowercase or you can just toggle the sixth bit and then convert from uppercase to lowercase right thank you